the storyline is like somebody, you know, you're stuck in a in an AI like, environment. Yeah. You can't get out, so mm. it's com- you're just repeating over and over again, battles and battles and battles. Gotcha. Yes, that is better than hey, here's the person there on the other side. This guy's brown. Let's go shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh god! That's exactly why I hate Call of Duty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's Russians. No, really not. Not when you're in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Nazis. Yeah. When you're in that's Brazil. Argentina or Argentina. Yeah. Argentina. Um, yeah. Yeah. I um, like I said though, I'm pretty excited. I did pick up. I did pick up a couple of tabletop role playing games. One's called Into the Odd. Okay. That looks pretty cool, but i got to read through it and stuff. So, And it has dice, but they work differently. Like, you want to roll the opposite way. Oh, some, play, some games are like that. Yeah. The lower the number, the better. Yeah. I am streaming right now, by the way. And this, the nice thing about it is that you don't have to, like, write up a whole sheet. You kind of roll for a character, like, and based on the dice you roll, it'll have a grid that say, here's the weapons you get, here's how this works. Here's the articles of things you get this yeah. so cool yeah mm-hmm. yay we're live we're live what we're live, live from <laughs> nick's basement <laughs> it's real time for adventure nobody <laughs> all right nobody let me put you. that on so you can say that <laughs> or do you want me to say it no matter i'll say it i think jason should say live from live from nick's basement it's Roll Up Adventure! What's up, everybody? Hey, we're live again. Second week in... I don't know, not a row. Not but a row. Uh, <laughs> we're continuing the Mummy's Mask from Pathfinder. And uh, last time, you guys went through, you did a Plinko game. You guys got um, Akintepi's Tomb. And uh, you guys uh, didn't make it very far. No, we didn't. We didn't. We failed right. miserably. So, a couple of those damn near died. Let's draw this again. <laughs> yeah, they did. I wonder who that was. Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. So, this time. <laughs> so this, we're going to do, we're going to do here. This is where you guys land. One, two, three, four. I thought I can count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the room you're in. There is a shaft of light right here, right? You guys came down. Um, there's two doors in front of you. And there is a corpse sitting right here in front of the door. And there is okay. a corpse. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you guys came down. Blah, blah, blah. Here you guys are. Bam. In the light. Sounds like it's good. Okay. Now, uh, when you guys were descending, you guys noticed that the walls are uh, about 10 foot wide, right? So this comes down, there's a hole like up here about 60 feet up, where you guys came down from. So 10 feet up is another hole going into the cavern, right? Into the tomb. The, the walls, as you would come down, look extremely like uh, polished, like they're made out of like tile. So they're going to be almost impossible to climb out. So... It's like a DC 35 climb check to get out. Um, without, without help. Without help. <laughs> um, Crap. Um, okay, and remember that uh, that really weird wheeled door was shut, right? But now you got a room that you can look through. What, what, what state is the corpse, and is it like a fresh corpse? Is it a desiccated corpse? Um, give me a perception check. <laughs> oh, shit. Nate, he's... Yeah. Dumb fighter ain't gonna say yeah. anything. 17! <laughs> that ain't gonna do it! <laughs> okay, for you two, he dead! <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> um, for Jason, he fucking dead! He dead! <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> for Jason, he realizes this guy's been here for probably about 200 years. Like, the fashion of his clothes, uh, the deterioration of the mummy, or the skeleton, is, the, uh, about 200 years. He also has a broken leg. So, what probably what happened was... Another adventure. He fell down. Broke his leg. Can't move. I should also say that there's a, there's some withered rope. You know, down there. Gotcha. Um... 
Um, well, I want to go check the corpse and see if there's anything useful. No, on. no, don't, don't, <laughs> don't touch the corpse yet. It could be trapped. Booby trap. Booby trap. Booby trap. Booby trap. By the way, congratulations, Data, winning Best Supporting Actor. Short round. Chunk is his lawyer. <laughs> The way he's positioned in front of the doors ain't right. Because <laughs> if he was alone, he'd either have been smacked in the middle of the where we were, well, where we're standing right now, or in the case of Zeldu and I, uh, laying broken and bloodied. <laughs> And uh, if he would have crawled over there, he probably would have either been in some sort of fetal position instead of laying straight out. He did! Of course he's dead, Harwin. Fucking dead as a doornail! What's a doornail? I don't know. <laughs> dead as a nail! What's a nail? I think they had nails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they would have had nails. It's all time group. All right. <clears throat> I probably should read this thing. I don't know. Because I'm so used to like going off a book that it's hard to stay on book. <laughs> All right. Mirrored images of warrior of a warrior on inside profile facing inward are carved on the ornate pair of stone doors in the west of this square room. The figure is depicted wearing padded armor with a scarab-shaped shield on the face or the arm facing the viewer in a, in a raised kopesh held aloft in the other. A crumpled humanoid body lies directly in front of the doors. A hint of decay hangs in the air, and a dyed stain mars the stone floor under the body. The square shaft in the ceiling leads straight up into the darkness. My god, my nose just filled up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But I don't want to do it online. I, I, I do it all the time. I don't care when I'm streaming. I'm just like, fuck it, you know what a cold is. <laughs> I, I at least mute it. Um, I need a perception. Yeah. Alright. See if the other two figure out what might have happened. Nineteen this time. Awesome. Yeah. Eighteen. <laughs> awesome. Uh, for you, he's still dead. Uh for you guys, um Jason Parr out for a point like he would have he would have died going right here. Um you remember that um this guy fell, broke he broke his leg. He might have not been alone. Because somebody had to close the door upstairs. So what probably happened was he uh, came in to rob the tomb. And as you remember, the Lady of Graves does not like bad grave robbers. So he probably came in. And they were like, oh shit, okay, and then we're out. Right? <laughs> oh, the we lady didn't do spoke. anything. The lady spoke. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. Let's go. He did. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Uh, you guys pretty much figured out that uh, the person on the door is Arca Tempe when he was younger. Um, so the warrior with his shield and his kopesh. Um, yeah. Uh, body is dead. Um, you also feel yeah, like he's a half elf. Right? Not really important, but yeah, half elf. Um, Alright, let's move. Let's see if these guys can get through that door. I know doors and yeah, doors and us. Just doors don't, don't. We don't get along with doors. <laughs> Ready for two hours of door. <laughs> we don't need no stinking doors. We bust through doors. All right. So I first I'm going to I'm going to uh, check over the body or the corpse. Are there like any? obvious uh, like incisions or anything like that that would have shown okay yeah, by moving this it's going to set off a, a trap or a bomb or, or check some traps yeah yeah go ahead we don't have a room no but I think anybody can do it yeah it's just better if you're trained in it yeah I was going to say that was just a disabled device crit natural crit oh okay well, <laughs> I'm not going to make you uh, confirm your crit on a Skill roll. Um, yeah, there's no, no, there's no traps. Okay. You feel confident that there's no traps. Right. <laughs> you feel confident. <laughs> All right, Fuck. so the body isn't trapped. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you keep the same roll. You got a crit. Uh, door is 
All right. Not, not crafty. All right, so out of respect for the dead, who wants to help me move this corpse out of the way? I'll move it. You aren't to blow it up. Chew on it. Or <laughs> what if, it. like... No. Bar no. Borrowing, no. Borrowing no. parts is not technically... No. This is disrespecting the dead, even though it's not. he wasn't part of the original tomb. It's still a relic within the tomb. What about no. if I... No. I think our team viewers... Fine, I will go ahead. <laughs> I, I will... I will... Like, oh, who's on here? I will, I, will, I will help you move the body. Thank you. We'll just move it over to one... Or to the to the corner. What about the skull? No. Like, I don't think he's really all that attached to the skull. And really, they can be very, very useful in uh, various... No. No, oh, fine. I'm going to go ahead and help him move the body. Okay. <laughs> Grumbling. Oh, I don't remember. Right. I'm just going to watch. <laughs> Grumbling at that. Thinking about how good body. Goblin might taste as a, a meal. <laughs> <laughs> i got to remember you guys have a fairy with you. All right. Sit there and move the body and not use the body. And it's stupid to not use the body when there's a body. <laughs> Do not use a body. All right. Uh, doors? Swing inward. Okay. You guys. <coughs> That's disgusting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so body's over here now. Not that you're on your Broken leg and everything. One of the legs is like <laughs> going the wrong way, the opposite way. All right, so you walk in this next kind of leg, Zeldus. <laughs> Excuse the bad drawings. My hands are kind of shaky lately. That's what happens when I... There's a mic in the way, so... That's good. Good. No one just notice. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so you walk in. Um, now, that is number A4. A4. There we go. The walls of the 10-foot-wide corridor feature bas-relief carvings of great battles. Armies with spears and shields clash at the direction of generals while other leaders direct troops from chariots that are ruthlessly overrunning their enemies. Engraved stone double doors stand at either end of the hallway. So, uh, just walk in. I don't know what you're doing. And as you're walking in, you hear, Hey, over here! Hey, over here! Hey, over here! And I'm like, hey, what? Here. What is it? Skull. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's gonna don't, come don't worry back. about it! Skull. You won't matter! That's gonna come back to bite us in the ass. But no. we don't know she has it. No, so. we don't. Might make a great cup. Great <laughs> <laughs> cup. Alright. The skull, look at the skull! <laughs> what was that, Zoldu? Nothing! We got double doors down here. I appreciate the fact that there's a fairy here to help me make things interesting. <laughs> Alright, so you guys walk in. Where are you going to go now? Ooh! Uh, and I started doing an echo check by singing the theme song to the mummy. Which I'm not going to sing on here because I don't want to get it pulled down. For... <laughs> yeah, it's a lot here. to pull down, yeah. <laughs> It's YouTube you gotta worry about. <laughs> Alright, so I mean, we're looking at it. I'm, are these those are the, the reliefs? Yeah, or, okay, those are the reliefs. So, so why is it is it just because it's a stone? Yeah, there's two sides. There's one over here and there's one over here. There's JC's making fun of your drawing. No, I'm just trying to, to figure out They're actually not fully this big, they're kinda like that. So don't don't think about it that big. So it's just kind of like a big stone picture. Okay. So it's not it's not really four squares. No. Okay. That that's what was confusing me. Like, that is huge. <laughs> yeah. It's like what's behind those reliefs? 
this episode, we find out what's behind some reliefs. All right, archaeologist, aren't you supposed to be figuring out what these things say? It's depicting great battles. If we had a cleric here, we could back him up. But we don't. All right, give me another perception check. Yeah, that's a no. No? 23. (laughs) I'm not even going to say what I got. I think I got a one after I take away my... (laughs) Okay. Uh, okay. Looks like a door! (laughs) Door. Doors! (laughs) <laughs> da, 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 the door. <laughs> so you you assume that they're Akatepi, but they're an older older man this time instead of the younger man in here. It's an older guy uh, riding his chariot um, with a scarab shield. Oh, there's pictures. <laughs> and uh, it's like a picture story. They're both. Um, I'm gonna point a pay. That's like my scooter. <laughs> don't mind. Don't mind the bad drawing here. But uh, here he is, right here. And he's holding his kopesh. And he's in a chariot, so he's got like whatever they like the donkey. They call him Donkey. Donkey. Right. But he's got his kopesh and he's pointing at the door over here. And this exact same replica over here. I wonder which way we're supposed pointing. to go. Pointing over here. It's subtle. Pointing towards the door. I think we need to go back the other way. We just came from that way. No, we didn't. Arwen. What? I rolled, hmm. a, I rolled a three, okay? So we'll back the fuck off. I rolled a three. I don't three. remember where I came from. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Who, why am I here? <laughs> Who? I rolled a three and I have a negative two on perception. So, so you don't murder me. That's nice. All right. Who's so, taking lead on this? Um, oh, it's got to be Jason. Honestly, it's got to be the archaeologist. So uh, you move forward a little bit? Yes. Okay. Now, I tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, is that my, like, my scooter? You did get a really good perception check, right? So I'm going to put you right there. And then I'm going to tell you that um, da, 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 by 10 foot by 10 foot. A big boulder comes rolling down at you. You <laughs> see rolling. an outline in the sand. Uh-oh. Looks like a plate. All right. I say we get the goblin to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so with the shadow, does it seem like it's depressed? a little bit or is it higher it's depressed it's depressed okay um okay everybody do you see the square in the middle of the floor there i start looking around <laughs> square on where the, on the floor <laughs> ceiling yes i see it. i see it i see it i see it yes don't touch it go around the sides what happens if you touch it Bad stuff. You die. What if... Okay. You die. Okay. You, you, I won't you, you, you know that guy that we just... That, that body that we just moved back uh, back there to get in here? Yeah. He stepped on it. Very possible. Okay. See, I remember that because I rolled an 18. <laughs> I will say it's very lucrative for XP if you destroy this thing. I think we should destroy it! How do you plan on destroying it? Just disable it. Disable the device. What if um, I take... You get one shot, though. (laughs) You get one shot? New rule is one person fails. We don't know if it works. (sighs) What is disable traps? Disable device. I got a high high number there. Maybe I'll roll good. Maybe. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I have a pretty uh, high... I have plus six for disabled dice. Yeah, same here. You guys go for it. <laughs> you got like four? I got four. You want me to go? You want you to go? <laughs> Not a six. You go for it. All right. I will try, but uh, uh, no guarantees. Nothing. What? Well, oh, what? Oh, no, shit. no, you said... Oh. You've been on fire lately, so go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fire dice. Nope. Jesus Christ. He hasn't been on fire today. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> It's just gonna go around bad. <laughs> um, yeah. You, uh, the shit's in poke around with it. Yeah, no. You think it's fine? I take the skull and I roll it on top of it. Where'd you get that? Uh, Don't worry about you it. You revealed that already? Yep. 
Do, do, do. 19 to hit everybody. Hit. Why, you think I'd be a, a higher AC as a fighter, but... Yeah, that hits! 19 to what? I mean, we didn't heal before, before all of this. So you guys are dead. Four damage from darts that fire out. I'm at zero hit points. Oh, oh fudge. <laughs> Damn you, soldier! <laughs> 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 All right, so I have to remember she has. She's our medic. Right. Uh -huh. But she only can have, like, cure minor wounds, like, how many times per day? What's her level? Just level, like you, level two. So it'd be two plus her wisdom modifier. So I have cure minor light wounds too. Where do you use, well, you're down. Are you down? Mm, no. I got three left. Three, okay. Yeah, if you want to do it, I can do it too. I got okay. Jason, uh, what is that, 1d6 plus? What do I roll? I don't remember. It's 1d8. 1d8? Plus your level. Seven hit points. Seven hit points back. Yay. So eight. Me? Okay. So, roll one of those? Okay. What'd she do? Cure light wounds. Oh. Uh, seven. Nine more. Plus nine. your uh, wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom? What's wisdom? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Plus two. Plus two? So you got nine back. Nine back. Okay. Yay. So... Three I do have a lot of hit points. Yeah, good. I have a lot. So, all right. So, that's one good thing about being a warrior. Eleven. Okay. All right. So, uh, you guys know not to step on that again. <laughs> I say, hey, Declan. I mean, Devlin. Let's not step on that thing. <laughs> Thanks, Arwen. You know, Devlin, we should not step on that thing. I do have. A high intelli uh, plus two so for intelligence do. and plus two for wisdom. What'd you so do I wrong? <laughs> I, I helped discover what the device did so that we weren't curious and wondering. This is really beneficial in the long run. Where'd you get the skull? <laughs> Fairy. Whoops. Over here. Over here. Now they're gone. <laughs> I was like, do you want this? And I was like, yes, this would be amazing. And then I was yeah, able to roll it. Where, where, where did you get the skull from? Don't worry about it. No, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> oh, flies over here. <laughs> Damn it, goose. <laughs> deuce. <laughs> I did it because it's funny. Sabi, sabi and deuce. Deuce. I mean, the skull's still in tomb. It's basically the same thing. You can always put it back later. <laughs> put it back now. Let's see if we survive this place first. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to tiptoe around the edges. Okay. Is uh, there a lot of space to go between there? And there's about three feet, maybe two and a half feet. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to mm -hmm. follow Mr. Bardman okay. behind him. So, we move in. I'm dexterous, so I'm going to run alongside the wall. Like okay. here? <laughs> this way? Or do you want to go up behind Goose and kick him in the ass? <laughs> <sighs> if I kick him in the ass, he'll probably come back and bite me in some form or fashion. I'm going to open this door. <laughs> <laughs> you may decide not to heal me <laughs> I don't know where you're next. going. Which way are you going? <laughs> I'll go behind Goose. She's going by this this way. <laughs> you guys have been friends long enough that uh, there's some good ribbing is fun. <laughs> um, you guys have been friends since childhood, so <clears throat> yep. And then some for for yeah for them. Okay, um, you got a door for you. Now is it a, is it a Same double doors. door or is it two separate doors? No, that... it's be double doors. Okay. Are you going to check for traps? Yes. I'll do it. Jesus. <laughs> hmm. 
Holy fuck. Ten. Ten. Yeah. You got anything? Do you want me to roll? Check for ten. Nope. I can do it. You feel confident that there's no traps. I swear, if I take any more damage, <laughs> I'm just going to kill you both and take all the loot. <laughs> and you would make it out of here alive. <laughs> just bust it open. Just to open the door. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't bust it open, but I'll carefully open it. There is it. no traps. One. I'm just, as a friend would say, I'm killing the <laughs> both of you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why I said you wouldn't make it out of here alive. <laughs> all right, you walk in. There's a set of double doors here. There's here. I if I remember right, it goes down. And I'm sitting here going, God, why are there so many doors? The more doors means the more, there's more be... cat or more uh, rooms, which means the more potential of of more treasure. There's going to be more rope too. He knows mm-hmm. we hates hates mm. the doors and we hates the ropes. But hopefully he doesn't make me roll for twenty five minutes. <laughs> you never know. All right. No, this is area 2-5, if anybody's following along in their handy little book. All right. Um, a faded tapestry hangs on a wooden frame in the western wall of the chamber. So you guys probably walk in. I don't know how to keep you in there. All right, you guys see. Um, goodbye. Um, <laughs> faded and delicate, the tapestry depicts a middle-aged man accompanied by a woman and two children with a small estate in the background. To either side of the tapestry are two small pedestals upon which sit two dead and preserved animals. Stone double doors exit the chamber to the north, south, and east. I don't know why they brought up the one that you just came through. Yeah, they I was did. just gonna say, um, yeah, they they're 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 just being thorough, right? I guess I should just do this because this is pretty stupid. Um, w. Yes. Not that it matters. So we just came through the east. So yep. north. okay. So what? What are in the corners? Are they, are they just pedestals? Those or? are pedestals. Okay, that, that actually helps me. These are these are pedestals right here. These are uh, bu- 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 columns. Every time he says "give me," I get I get nervous. Perception check is fine. Also, and actually, I need a knowledge check. Local. Local. Ooh. I have better knowledge than I do with the perception. Nice. I needed a legit linguistic situation. Eight. Um, just like an home plus. Fifteen. Fifteen? Um, Sixteen. Uh, knowledge local. Um, you guys figure out that um, this is Akatev's family. Um, probably died from some... Um, Some kind of possibly murder or sickness, right? Um, they're murder. rumored that they're not buried with him by a bunch of murder hobos. Right? So you know that. Um, yeah, Jason, you get the same thing. Is the tapestry um, hanging down, or is it? It's down. Or is it fluttering at all? No, it's okay. perfectly still. Um, Jason, you uh, you know that these are mummified cats. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Was what kind of animals are they? Yeah. Mummified cats. I had to take <laughs> Bootsy and Wyatt with them. And I'm sitting there going, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, I, like, okay. I like the description. The animals on the pedestals are mummified cats, Ankatepi's former pets. They were strangled and then mummified so they would accompany the owner to the boneyard and his soul's final resting place. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. What? <coughs> we're the dog killers. These people were the cat killers. It's better than putting them in a sack and then throwing them in the water. <coughs> That's true. That's true. Oh. oh, those old Disney cartoons. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, evil empire. <laughs> so, uh, north and south open with. Okay, yeah. So, you got uh, doors to the north and south. Which, Which way, way, archaeologist? I'm just right here to kill people. Right is always right. Isn't that the, the term for D&D? 
Dungeons, yeah. right is always right. What's that mean? Uh, since this is Pathfinder, we should go left. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Does this seem to be a like a a, a, a normal tomb layout? Mm -hmm. Okay, both doors so the same. yeah, both doors are the same. All right, so if, based off of that, I mean, from my studies. Would there be a, um, a difference as to what's uh, on one side as opposed to the other? Mm, no. Okay. But I start Laura, walking towards the left doors. For never go with her. Never, never go her way. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, to make it easier for you guys to complete the tomb, I would say go right. <laughs> And We're by, gonna go right. By giving us hints, Nick has been like throwing hint after hint after hint, saying, "Just go right." Just go right. Just right. Just right. Not experience for <laughs> fucking disabling. You can you can go to the left. I don't care. I mean, I'm just saying that there's that depressed uh, <laughs> trap. It won't take very long to go to the right. I'm kind of pissy mm. that I didn't get that experience. <laughs> it was 600 XP. Yeah, no, that's wow. why I'm pissy. No, I didn't know how much, but I'm pissy. 600. Mm -hmm. One point of experience, and I would have been pissy. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. So I'm going to check for traps on the the the, the north, north, door. north door north doors the north doors north north twenty one nice no traps. Thank God. <laughs> I should make traps everywhere. I'm gonna be like John. All right. So uh, <laughs> door opens, and there is a stairway leading up. To another set of great big double doors. There's like a one time ago wax on not checking for traps. The steps are gonna be <laughs> yep. trapped. We're, gonna fall through and we're all gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna die. Alright, so I'm gonna check for traps. I like 14. having the map better. I like doing that better than mm -hmm. them explaining. Then yes. everybody gets confused in where we're going. How much? 14. 14. Ah, uh, you feel super confident that there's no traps on that door. By the way, do we use Dungeoneering in this anywhere? Hey, maybe. How about 18? It's very rare in Teleport. Gotcha. 18? Yeah, there's no traps. Yes. I <laughs> saved our lives. <laughs> I finally rolled good on a check. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's get that nice. Over here. Okay, so we guys walk in the door, and then inside this room is another 20 by 20 room. Wow. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I can count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And inside is a couple more. Uh, in, there's columns on the sides, just like before. And there is another tapestry right here. Right here for the tapestries. And then there's a crate. I think like somewhere like right here. Over here. A crate. A crate. There's and one here. Inside is pardon my bad drawing, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. You're going over here. And I'm going, going over here. here. Alright, there's a Ooh, chariot. There we go. Yep. Um Chariot. This is A6. Chariots of Fire. Rickshaw was what I was going to say. A brightly painted chariot sits in the center of this chamber. Beyond the chariot, a large canvas stretches between stone two stone columns. The skin of several animals, antelopes, great cats, and crocodiles, now faded and deteriorated with age, are tacked to the canvas. A wooden chest, lacquered white and trimmed with gold inlay, sits in the southeast corner. In each corner of the room, a small stone shield is molded into the masonry at shoulder height. An open hallway leads to the east, and a set of stone double doors leads south. Yeah, so you guys walk in. This isn't here. Mm, he's lovely. All right. <laughs> so you guys see pretty much when you walk in, there's a hallway. Yeah. And then there's another. I'll just do that. There. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> About what I want to do with mincemeat. <laughs> I'm gonna, I was gonna buy it too. I'm, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at Devil and go. It's like a scooter. 
Can, can we write it? Can we no, write it? Don't no. touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. No, this, touchy, touchy. Th- th- this, this falls under... He can't read his own writing. <laughs> that this falls under rule number two. Deuce. <laughs> What was rule number two or something? Actually, no. Oh! And that was every site. So three. The world. Do not desecrate sites, which means no touchy. <laughs> you can try to take it out of you. Mm-hmm. You just need woodworking skill. Yeah. It's quite valuable. It's quite fortunate that you met me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually more interested in the 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 box. Uh-huh. She's gonna have to make an appearance. She will. Sometime in our show. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm almost thinking that this might be like some sort of canopic uh, container, but without closer inspection. Yeah. Are you gonna look at the box? Yes, I'm gonna look at the box. Uh-huh. What are they called mimics? <laughs> His favorite things? Oh, God. I hate those damn things. Touch it, touch it, touch it. No! No, touchy. <laughs> damn it! Ten! Okay. You walk right you open it? the box. No, I, I just, I'm inspecting it right now. Okay. I'll do, I can do a perception check, too, because yeah. it's a box and I'm you interested. perception check. <laughs> Not well. It looks like a box. Over here. Thirteen. Thirteen. A box. Yep. Engine two. Box. <laughs> what do we do with this box? We'll we'll leave it for right now. Um, it's it's not in with anything. The rest that might be treasure wise. So it may be something that just like ashes of the horses or something like that maybe that uh, that pulled the chariot. Okay. They cremated <laughs> the horses. Possibly. You yeah. never know. If they were, if they were, if they were uh, personal war horses, or it's any, anything's possible. Be like Shannon and Sonia. This is bullshit. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking too long. I'm done. Fuck guys. This is a lot of shit, dude. There's a no tapestry thing right here. Um, there's a desk over here. Can we take the tapestries with us? Sure. Oh, God. Easy to carry. Can take with. Another box. Another tapestry. We'll have to take care of them carefully. So they might be worth gold. And taking them down so that way we don't. Over here! Don't ruin them. Bam. That's our trap. And I immediately. <laughs> and, uh, and the door slams shut. <laughs> yeah, right. oh, what the oh, fuck, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah. I joyously go skipping after Goose. <laughs> All right. So in this part right here, this is called A seven. Uh, four funerary masks hang on the wall in the short hallway, staring down as if in judgment. To anyone standing in the corridor. So, we got a little mask here, a little mask here, a little mask here, and a little mask here. Do the funerary masks, mask. <laughs> do the funerary masks look as if two are children and one's a female, one's a male? No, you uh, you recognize them as gods. Okay. Uh, I need a knowledge religion check. No, we already know what that is. Oh shit, I can't. That is a one. <laughs> you, you are doing good today. 18. I have a great day. 16. Okay, uh, you recognize two of them. Um, two of you. Uh, uh, Phrasma, which is the main god of, of here, of this world, and um, Abadar, which is an Egyptian god. Right, and the other two, you uh, you think are familiar, but you have no idea. They look like masks. Remember. Yeah. Um. Like, mm. So am I gonna check to see if they're trapped? You. Great. Don't touch them. 
<laughs> See if their eyes will um, They're gold. I will, you, I will they're go gold. Up there. gold. I was going to say. I will, well, I will gold, check for traps. She's very, uh... No. No. Okay. No. okay. I am not... It's, it was not a good roll. Well, they're, they're not trapped. They're not trapped? Okay. I'm going to take the mask. I was, not right now. On our way out. It was... They may be useful. You're going to carry all that shit? I'm going to grab a mask and put it on my face. Oh my god. It's, it's like that big. You smoke like death. <laughs> Alright. Then I'm going to look at him. <laughs> look at me, I forgot. So what we're going to do is we're going to remember that there's four masks in here, right? Four masks. Four masks right there. Three now. <laughs> Three. Alright. Three masks. There's a chariot in here. Which you have to come back for. Oh, or, I have to. Right. Um, there was nothing here, nothing here. Well, there's the cats. Yeah, the cats. The tapestries. Dead. Tapestry. D E D, cats. <laughs> Dead cats. Yes. Tapestries. And we can use the tapestries to wrap the cats up. No! Just, just roll them up. Uh-uh. In a, yes. It's, it's like a carpet. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, This is A8. It's called the treasure room. Or trophy room, sorry. A uh, table of displaying a three-dimensional diorama occupies much of the north side of the room. Three shields with different designs are displayed upon a rack against the east wall, while various weapons hang from another rack along the south wall. Arrayed around the room are five small chests and clay urn. Um, okay. I, ch- I want to check the chest for rooms. traps or whatnot. Okay. Oh, God. You got to Inspect the diorama. Diorama? Okay. I, damn it. That's a nine. You want to do it again because it rolled off my stuff. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Try not to hit my stuff. It's bad luck. <laughs> but how you're rolling, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen? For two what? Uh, nice. Where are we at? Are we in this room? Yep. Yeah. Twelve plus um, whatever. He's over here doing this. Uh, you're over here doing... Uh, I'm looking at whatever this is. Our You're over here doing... The she's trying to take the tapestries. Well, no, I was looking at the chest. For the oh, you were looking at the chest. Okay. Yeah. And he's looking at the desk. So I'll go and look at the other whatever this is right here. Okay. That's another chest. Um, first, we're going to start with uh, the chest. Um, there's a... Uh, you guys open them. You guys, uh, you guys do a check for traps, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, hundred gold pieces each. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Jason gets a pencil. Jason, um, <laughs> this is a uh, this is what you see. Give me a DC uh, twelve knowledge check, please. All right. Oh, so uh, come on, Jason. My perception was a twenty. What kind of knowledge. Come on, Devlin. Knowledge what? Geography. Geography. Oh, you got shit. this. Let's go. <laughs> we Six. Don't got, we don't got this. Six. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that um, uh, this is a sculpted landscape of probably a battle that happened with Akintepi, um, uh between the, his city of Wati and an unknown enemy, because you, you can't tell which one it is now. Um, the shield on the right, um, there's the there's shields over here, right? There's like four of them. And uh, most of them are Akintepi's. But there's one that doesn't quite look the same. It looks more um, tribal, more from the southern continent. Okay. Right. Are you going to call um, either of us over to take a look? I'm going to give Devlin 50 of my gold. Um, it is from the uh, Mwangi Expanse. Mwangi? Yeah. M-W-A-N-G-I. Mwangi. I love. Since we since we friends, I'm gonna I'm gonna split the loot. And uh, the one in the middle, you recognize from every pick of Octopus. It's the so scarab, scarab, it's shield. scarab shield, right? Hmm. So it's it's actually his one, is in there. Um, on the rack to the south. Well, I messed up, but this one right here, we'll just say that uh, holds a composite short bow, a kopesh, and a spear. What's a kopesh? 
um, the curve. Yeah, it's, curve it's, it, it's, it's yeah. not necessarily a, um, a scimitar, it's, but it's kind of it starts it's like straight. A, it's like mm -hmm. a and then just got like, like, like a half moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> okay. So that is Akatepe's. So you might be able to uh, sell it and sell get it. another one, but I think the state's going to want to have that back. Well, yeah. But um, it's worth quite a bit. I don't know what how much it's worth, but we'll figure that out later. So, yeah, Does it have a scabbard? Really... No. Or is it just loose? Yes. Yeah, just... just... Well, I've got like harnesses on my back from a sword, so. <clears throat> Put it through the <laughs> okay through the back. I won't use it. <clears throat> um, I'm saying just I didn't state this before, but I should have. As we're coming through, I'm sketching all of this out okay. in my sketchbook mm -hmm. as well. So, um, give me a perception check, real quick. Just Everybody? Jason. Just Jason. Oh. Yeah, because he's looking at the table. Okay. Is that a bunny? Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, no, you don't see anything, but you feel something. Oh, um, shit. Da, 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 da. That, is a, that is a two. Um, no, actually, you don't feel anything. You hear something go past your ear. No, you look down, and there are four little... pieces of the diorama shooting darts at you. <laughs> Great. I just became Gigantor. <laughs> Pretty much. You are the land of the little people now. <laughs> and I um I'm assuming Devlin exclaims something. Oh, oh aren't you guys little cute? <laughs> and immediately I run over like what is it? What are they? Little 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 <laughs> arrows but it does tons of damage and they're, and they're probably poisoned they're probably yeah okay <laughs> um bruh give me a why can I not think of initiative ever initiative give me a fight roll? check initiative roll look at that 16 initiative That is a 23. I'm going to try speaking to them in ancient Assyrian. <laughs> Jesus. You got a... What's your... Five plus... Fuck. You got a six for initiative? Ten. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> so it goes A... Me. Z. 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 Okay, it goes A... Batty. Arwen. <laughs> Zendu. And bringing up the rear, Declan. All right. So they're this big, right? They're probably about the size of GI Joes. So uh, like action figures. Three, three inches, five inch. Three and a half. Okay. Yeah. So what you're saying is I shouldn't waste my arrows on them. <laughs> that would no. That that'd be All overkill. Right. I take out my elven curved blade, and I'm going to try to cleave one of them in half. <laughs> okay. Come on, you motherfucker. That's a crit. Nice. And I gotta do it twice. Twice. What's yes, their ace? 18. 18. So first, first one's a no. Okay. And the second one's in Okay, so, so that's you just, just do a regular damage. Regular damage. Okay. Yep. You won't need to hit that one hard. Well, I do anyway. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14! Bow! <laughs> just Missed. blows into dust. No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You get three actions, right? Or is that just second edition? We never figured that out. We'll just keep it going as we only have one. Okay. Unless you have like two weapon fighting. Yeah, I think. Um, okay. I think that was second edition that they gave you three moves. Uh, they're gonna attack. So that's a seventeen. Um, first one I do this. Two. So that's the first one. So I'm gonna say uh, Zelgin. You're up first. He's gonna attack you with an eighteen to hit. 
What's your AC? AC? Yep. Class? 20, 26. 26? Wow. Jesus, what the fuck? She's small. She is small. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's going to be impossible to you at all. Okay. Um, four. Where did that go? There it is. Six. Uh, Arlen? What'd you get? <laughs> four. Uh, no. Shit, nothing. All right. And, um, yeah. That's a point. There it is. Yeah, nothing. They can't hit nothing. <laughs> so you guys are not... <laughs> Okay. And, uh, they've been probably asleep for 200 years. Uh-huh. Or thousands of years. Is it my turn now? Yes. Great. Yeah. <clears throat> um, alright, so I roll. Do I need to scoot out of uh, her way so she can hit it? She can go right between you guys because she's so short. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Better. 13 plus... What is this? What are you hitting? What is this? What are you hitting? Oh. Oh, I'm grabbing the mask. That I pulled from the thing, and I'm looking down at the gun, and I'm going, I am your god. Oh my god. <laughs> you will obey me. <laughs> um, Do you speak ancient Osirian? Yeah. They're constructs, they don't really think. Don't really, they don't really matter. Think. They're just like, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know, I like I said, I rolled a 13, but I don't know what this... It oh, was, it, would it be uh, unarmed? So you're work? just doing a, you're trying to trick them, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. you're doing a, a perform. Yeah, we can do a performance check. Yeah. Wow. Why are there two performs here? Because there's different than like dancing, dancing and dancing singing. And, yeah. Would this be um? Let me look. It's a charisma. Yeah. Charisma. What? So am I using charisma or am I using perform? Okay. Is it charisma? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a charisma, charisma bonus on it. So you would get plus a four. plus plus four. Okay. What is? So that's sixteen charisma. So that's a plus three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you got nineteen. So roll plus three. So nineteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Um, you think you do a really good job? Of they, course I do. They have. They're just animatronics. They're just animatronics. Yeah, they're just animated toys okay. or diorama pieces. If um, oh, I thought they were like the little people. They have an AC. They're not really real people. They're just animated. They have oh, a they're high animatronics. AC. Yeah, they're just animated. Uh, yeah, dolls. if they were animatronics, I would use my dust knuckles. <laughs> okay. They have a high AC for animatronics. They do. They have oh. 18 for animatronics. Yeah. yeah and they've been charmed up the hill, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so I use uh, my. So instead of like talking levels. to them, you're just going to beat them down? Yeah, if they're animatronics, they're not going to listen to anything because they're animatronics. No. I thought they were little people's. No. Um, because then I was going to carry them around and I was going to have fun playing with my new toys. Well, we haven't lost anything yet. <laughs> no. Not yet. Not, not like last time. Um, what? I promise I forgot to fill in like what these back on us was. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll talk to you after the, after oh. the show. Never mind. I'll and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the bonus is or what the roll die is. Uh, dust knuckles. Yes. Uh, you would find, find those. Do you find those in your? Uh, Some place. It was definitely in a book. <laughs> it was in your where you can. Um, it's in the player's guide. No, it's not in the player's core r- rule book, but the advanced classes I found. This is advanced classes. Dust knuckles. Mm-hmm. God. Oh my. That is that's what. That is crazy. What? So it's small. Yeah. Hence for why I got the little spyglass. Glad right, I got my. I want to get that one, but I think I want to try to find a hardcover. That was, yeah, this is crazy. And it's not, oh, it's not a magic item, right? Sorry, this is an advanced player's guide. I think the, the advanced class guide. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to be this. Sorry about that. Jeez. Jeez, we'll make the DM look, it, look up in the wrong thing. Why would I ever have to look at it? A DM. DM. <laughs> what do we call you? 
GG! The game guru. Ace hole. The GG. Spells are for spells. I don't know. It's in here someplace. I'm what sure we, we can just uh one D eight plus three. I didn't think they were that, that much. Good. I thought it was And then we can look it up later. Okay, that works. Alright. One D eight? One D eight. Four damage. Right? Um, he's still holding up. Looks cracked, broken, mm -hmm. but he's still damaged. Okay. So you hit that guy right there. This one. Okay. Um, you gonna sing at him to death? No. Death. <laughs> I fight mummies. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do non-lethal damage. <laughs> oh. Why? <laughs> he wants to take one home. Oh Jesus. Because they're amazing. Sit there squirming. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Put some twine around him so his other arms are. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna bite your ankles. It's like a brownie from a. Willow. <laughs> the look of pain on Jason's face tells me that that was not a success. That, no, okay. Uh, you reach for it and it slips through your fingers and goes to the back. What? You guys are actually right here on this thing, so. So these are uh, animatronics. Can they be disabled? Um, maybe. No. Not until they're dead. Not until they're dead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Top of the round, Arwen. No. Nineteen. Yeah, no. Yes, it is. Ten damage. Ten! Which one? This one. He crumbles into dust. You better get to him before I kill him. <laughs> That's too... <laughs> the, way I, the way I roll for my attacks. Alright, so first uh, one is going to go after... Yay, still do. That is a nine plus. <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> yeah, it's a nine to attack. No, that's not going to work. And and I'm going to laugh at him. It's going to go after uh, <laughs> that one. And uh, no. <laughs> <It can't be. laughs> You're not understanding why this isn't working. <laughs> thousand years, this is where our main job is. All right. You um, have one job. You have one job. <laughs> <laughs> and you're failing at it. Let's see. Um. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking of the best way to approach this with animatronic S things. So. Smash them. Burn them. Take them home. <sighs> Make them into donuts. Eat them. I mean, I really want to put them in a bag and take them home. You got an iron gut. You can but do them. You said they have to be disabled first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. What are they shooting with? Are they shooting with arrows mm -hmm. that they have? Can you take their arrows away? Yes. Great. I want to take their arrows away. <laughs> <laughs> you got to reach down, grab one, and then take it out of their hand. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Three. It didn't work very no. well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it is right out of your hand. <laughs> hey, Dev. All right. They're pissing me off. <laughs> they're not doing any damage to you guys. Nope. No, they're just annoyances. Twelve to hit. No. What are you trying to do? You trying to capture one again? Yeah. Oh, close. A touch attack is fourteen. So, um, straight up smash them. It's eighteen. Okay. Eighteen Yep. Smash it. Eight points of damage. He's dead. He's smashed and destroyed. <laughs> wow, that's three. That's three. All right. I'm giving you all the chances in the world here. <laughs> and Two. We appreciate it. He doesn't like how you've been trying to grab him. So. Oh, oh nope. 18. No, doesn't hit you. He's <laughs> <laughs> just shooting arrows at you. He just can't seem to hit. And I'm like, it's so he's cute. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute when he's angry. <laughs> All right. I must have one. It's um, your turn. My turn? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to grab the arrows again. Okay. 
Yay! Oh, no, look out! You did it. Yeah. 18? Yes. 18 plus whatever. Whatever. Per, yeah. Uh, You're probably using the um, decks to grab. For... Oh, then, uh, yeah, I definitely got him. Yeah. I'm pretty high on the decks. So, um, <laughs> so you grab him, <laughs> and you take his bow out of him. And then you got one in your hand. Yes. Oh, no, I'm just like, look at you! <laughs> look at you! <laughs> Can't wait to put you in a crystal clear case and just never touch you again. <laughs> we are gonna have so much fun. It's like a real doll, except that it moves. This is gonna be amazing! Oh my god. <laughs> and then I look at Dev and I'm like, look at that little guy. I'm in hell. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> Okay, so hey, remember how we weren't supposed to destroy it? I came, I came home on spring this break for this to, to be in hell. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys graduated. And then, and then I, so. then oh yeah, I came home because I needed to visit my mam. <laughs> I'm this, in hell. This is what and happened. Then, and then I grabbed the little guy and I go up to you and I'm like, we weren't supposed to destroy anything. Uh, Look at who destroyed things. I didn't. <laughs> Take the um, sword. <laughs> Eight hundred XP divided by three. Be awesome if we had a fourth, you know. I get the point three four. Be awesome if we had a fourth. Be easy to do the math. What was that again? How many were getting each? Two hundred thirty three. Fifty three plus sixty six. Defeating warrior dolls. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I'm assuming we're gonna grab the tapestry and we got the gold. And Carefully. Of course. I throw it over my shoulders, like uh, the whole bar, and I'm gonna wear it out. Like a cape? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesus. What's the chances that it disintegrates? <laughs> um, give me a, give me a hundred roll. A what roll? Give me a, a one hundred. So you're gonna grab oh. two tens. Tens. Two tens? Yep. There should be one with like percentage dice. Yeah, there's a percentage. double. And a... Yep, one of those with the percentage. Yep, so it's got a 20 on it. And then one okay. 10. And then one. one... Yeah, I like this one. This one? Yep. Okay. These two? Yep. yep. Please don't roll good. 